No. Okay, am I ready to leave Stivers? No. No. <laughs> no. No. Not at all. Yes. <laughs> yes. I'm, I'm definitely ready to get up out of here. <laughs> I think it will be all right. It's definitely nerve-wracking, but I think I'll be all right in the long run. Yes, I'm excited to leave. This school is amazing, but I'm ready to move on with my life. No. <laughs> um, if I could, I would stay here a lot longer. There's a few more things I do want to do. <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm ready for change. I'm ready to become my own person and be an adult. But the people here is like the biggest part. Because like at this environment it is really loving and I really appreciate all the teachers who try and support all the other students in their um, school activities and also their like stuff outside of the school. So like everyone's super supportive and I, I really don't want to leave this environment because I feel like this is the most welcoming uh, place I've been in for a long time. It's kind of like, like a little family that I built with everybody. So. Uh, that's gonna be hard to walk away from, but I'm definitely ready for it. It's so nice meeting all of my peers that are also really like-minded and creative, and all of us are really passionate about what we do. So it's just such an amazing environment, and overall, I've been inspired <laughs> my whole time here. I don't think I would like rather be at any other school because the experience that they give for us to express ourselves and find ourselves and lead us on a good path. Like, in the people I've met here through all of my years, I don't think I'll ever forget it. The first thing I think of when I think of Stivers is opportunity. And not only opportunity, but freedom within opportunities. I feel that what Stivers has brought to all of the students is a new range of ability and uh, the teachers were amazing. Like, um, am I allowed? Am I allowed to name names? Yeah. Oh yeah, like Edmund and Mark. Really, like Edmund's like my the way I think about painting is just expanded so much because of him. Um, Mark too. Mark has shown me like way different firing processes and shown me all the science behind ceramics. So I think I'm gonna remember Stivers is a place where I grew a lot and I really started to think critically about my artwork. I say I really appreciate all my time that I've had here. It's honestly overall just been so amazing. Like I came here because of the arts and because I wanted to have more opportunity with the arts. And I really feel like I got that when I came here. I, lo I love Miss Weirk's class. I love, I really love dance. I like to cheer. I like to do a lot of stuff here. I don't wanna, I don't wanna go. I would go from in the morning I would see someone like dropping a carton of milk off the stairs and then in the next class they would go on to create like a piece of art that would win a national award. So it's kind of crazy to be around just like creative geniuses but we're also just being kids at the same time. Um, it was pretty positive. I think this is a, this is a place where I grew a lot. It's, it's going to be sad to go back to like the normal life. But this school, mm, I won't say it's been great to me. I lied. <laughs> I lied. Um, I won't say it's been great to me, but I have met a lot of good people and learned a lot of new things that I'm really appreciated for. Not appreciated for, grateful for. But I feel free and more open and spaced out, and I feel like I can breathe. I don't feel suffocated like how I did when I first came here. Yeah. I think freshman year I still kind of like appreciated it all, but now I just appreciate it more than I did, especially since we didn't have like a junior year. I think it's like making up for lost time. I mean, I've been here since seventh grade, but I still feel like there's so much stuff that I didn't get to do because of COVID. And I feel like right now I'm trying to like push so much stuff into my life to try and um yeah especially my my freshman year I feel like I could have got a lot more done a, a lot more achieved if I actually knew like what I was capable of 
back then and I'm kind of upset that I didn't reach my full potential as a art major here at Stivers considering like everything here like the the magnets my my teachers what like what they have to offer all that good stuff so kind of upset that I didn't really reach the top tier while I could this year especially I've come to appreciate it a lot more um because it's kind of my last year I feel like I didn't soak it in as much as I should have I'm starting to appreciate everything more and just taking a second to take in everything I know I won't have when I leave like whenever Whips goes on a tangent or tells her stories I used to just be like man I just want to keep working but now I just listen to everything she says because I know I'm gonna miss it when I don't have it anymore and like just stuff like that I just knew no I'm gonna miss it so I just want to appreciate while I have it like some some things I'm like this doesn't matter this is just another day at school and then other things I'm like okay this is real this is probably the last time I'll be doing this so I might as well enjoy it I just think like sometimes every once in a while when I'm alone I think wow I'm really gonna look back on these moments and look back at my time here as a senior or just as any grade in general I was like wow I'm gonna I love the I love, those were the days I love that time where I was around these people, and especially since I'm never going to be around these people all together at once, probably, for the rest of my life even. Uh, it really didn't hit me that, like, oh, wow, like, this is my last year of high school for forever. So I've definitely had uh, a lot more experiences and, and a lot more m moments that I've cherished, even just a little stuff, just like going to breakfast and seeing my friends or, or just coming to class and whatever. It, I take in those moments and I really do try to cherish them because it is my last time, unfortunately. I think even though we'll all be separated, I think we'll still keep in contact. That's the main way of communication between us. And no matter where we are, what the situation is, we still always you know, text 24 seven or FaceTime or find a way to hang out. So. I think we'll still keep in contact even if we move away to college or when you move to Chicago. Just making a point to reach out to certain people to make sure that even after we graduate, I'll have maybe some opportunity for a connection later on. Definitely going to come for reunions, definitely going to come visit teachers, but I think it's a lot more than that. It's about remembering and ensuring that this school has in fact changed me. And I think that I'll remember it as a place that I was allowed to like kind of explore and express myself in sort of a welcoming environment. What we learn here is totally different from any other school, from any other place at that. And we are studying and perfecting our crafts every day. And that's how I'll remember Stivers. Oh my God. I'm about to cry. <laughs> I'm about to cry. <laughs>